so many ways to make ornaments and so many photo transfer techniques. I think I bought too many of them. <laughs> I hope not. Today, we're gonna create photo ornaments on different type of materials, like wood, ceramic, and glass. <laughs> so many image transfer opportunities here. And we're gonna use both inkjet and laser printed photos. So there's something for everyone. Also, we're gonna use a few different techniques for our photo transfer, and you get to choose your favorite one. And by the way, you don't have to make ornaments. You can definitely use these techniques to transfer to any other object. I'm going to have so much fun. I get to make photo ornaments in so many different ways. <laughs> okay, so let's start. Let's see how it works. For our first photo transfer method, we're going to transfer to this wood ornament. I'm going to use an inkjet photo print, but you can also use a laser photo with this technique. Also, though I usually like to use my own photos, today I'm going to use graphics I've downloaded from the Graphics Fairy website. The transfer medium I'm going to use is matte medium, but you can use any other gel medium or even glue. Spread a good amount of the medium over the surface. And place your photo face down onto the wet surface. Press it down with your fingers. You can also use the handle of your scissors to press it down and create a good bond between the image and the ornament. Wait a few minutes for the transfer medium to dry a bit, but don't let it completely dry. I waited just about three minutes. Next, begin removing and peeling back the top of the paper without removing the image. It's easier to start at the corner by carefully rolling and lifting the paper while making sure the image stays in place. I also like to use a craft knife to remove some of the paper in small areas. So this is what the transfer looks like now. Obviously there's a lot of paper left over. So here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the ornament with gloss varnish like this one. I let the first coat dry and then added another coat of varnish. And now all the paper is gone. And now you can further decorate the ornament. Add stamps and paints and whatever you like. For this process we're going to use both black and white laser print and a color photocopy. For this process, we're going to use clear packing or shipping tape. All you need to do is layer the tape over the image. Make sure to closely layer each strip of tape so there are no gaps in between them. For the color photocopy, I'm going to use clear book tape, which is wider, so there's no need to layer it. Use the handle of the scissors to burnish the transfers. It will help transfer the photos to the tape. Now soak the transfers in a tray of warm water for about 15 minutes. And if you like these techniques, you're going to love my book, the Mixed Media Photography Book. 
Check it out, it's on Amazon. And you're also going to love my new book, the new mixed media photography book. Check it out, it's also on Amazon. Next, we need to peel off the paper, but don't worry, it should come off pretty easily. You can also use a soft sponge to lightly rub and remove the rest of the paper. Next, I'm going to mount the transfers on the glass ornaments. My clear tape transfers have dried and they are still quite sticky. But if yours is not sticky anymore, you can use a little clear glue. Black and white or color? I don't know, I like them both. <laughs> For this one, we're going to use inkjet transparency and gesso. And if you're interested to learn how to make homemade uh, gesso, check out my previous uh, video here. <laughs> I'll post a link to the video in the description below. <laughs> you can use any inkjet transparency you can find. I especially like the quick dry for obvious reasons. It dries quickly. Print a mirror image of your photo and make sure you are printing on the correct side. Usually it is the rough side of the transparency. I'm going to transfer one of these images onto a wood slice ornament. And I'm going to use gesso for the transfer. Apply a thin coat of the gesso to the surface. Place your photo face down onto the wet gesso and press it down lightly with your fingers. Now let it completely dry. Okay, so now we're gonna let it dry and come back to it later and see how it worked. Or didn't work. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Paper backing transfer method can work with laser photos and it can also work with inkjet printed images. So first let's see how a laser printed photo works. For this transfer we're going to use paper backing. Paper backing is the shiny paper in the back of stickers, mailing labels, transfer paper and even clear contact paper. Remove the labels or film to expose the paper backing. In order to prevent waste, it's a good idea to actually use the labels or film in another project. If the paper backing you are using is thin or flimsy, use a glue stick to secure it to standard printer paper before printing so it doesn't jam your printer. Now print a mirror image of your photo onto the shiny side of the paper. And this time I'm going to transfer onto glazed ceramic ornament. I place the photo face down onto the surface and tape it down with removable or artist tape. I'm using a small iron to apply heat to the back of the transfer. But you can use any standard iron on low settings. The heat you apply along with some burnishing is going to transfer the photo to the surface of the ornament. It also works great on glass. Okay, so now let's see how the paper backing works with an inkjet printer. So basically, since we are printing on a shiny, non-absorbent surface, the ink stays wet. 
So then all we need to do is transfer it to another surface. Carefully place the wet photo onto the surface and press it down lightly. Be sure to not move it around or the ink will smudge. Oh wow, this didn't work so great. So let's try a different type of wood, but this time we're going to select something that has a smooth surface. Like this. It's much smoother. Okay, so let's try again. Hopefully it works this time. Okay, so this one definitely worked. And since the photo was transferred off center, I will add some text here on the side. And here's another example of the same process, but this one is unglazed ceramic. And I know you probably forgot, but let's see how the gesso transfer turned out. Okay, so now that the gesso is completely dry, let's see how it worked. All of these were fun techniques to do, and I don't know which one is my favorite. I definitely like this one. Maybe the laser paper backing technique. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> what about you? Which one was your favorite transfer technique? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. I get to make so many different... <laughs> something. <laughs> Gotta make something. I get to make so many photo ornament. <laughs> ornament? <laughs> for... For what? <laughs> Thank you. Self-promotion alert. <laughs> and if you're interested in uh, to learn, and this time select something that is more... <laughs> I'll just take a picture of it. <laughs> That's not new. <laughs> I hope this video was useful to you and thank you so much for watching and if you want to see more like this click here and I'll see you next time.